Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a closer look at spaces. So the best way to explain spaces is it's like having multiple screens, but only one actual physical screen. So you've got, say, four virtual screens and one physical screen. You can be looking at the first one, but you have numbers 2, 3, and 4 also with windows and documents open on them. And you can easily switch back and forth between these four different spaces. Let's take a look. Okay, so now I've got spaces activated, and this is my first space. It's my main screen here. It's so number one. I can see up in the menu bar I've got the spaces menu bar indicator turned on. So I've got screen number one activated, and I can see there's one through four. To go and look at all the different spaces, all I need to do is press F8. When I do that, my screen changes to show me all four different virtual displays that I have. Here's the one I was just looking at. You can see with the text edit window open. Now, screen number two here has a finder window open. Down here in three, I've got both my browser and mail open. And here I've got another finder window and my address book open. Now I can jump to any one of these windows simply by clicking on it. Another way to get to and from Windows is using the control, not the command, but the control key and the arrow keys. So control left will take me from this screen two to one, down and to the right. So I can easily navigate between these four screens. And I see this indicator here at the bottom to show me where I am inside of spaces. Okay, so now to move windows between spaces, all I need to do is go into this mode with F8 and I can actually drag and drop windows around. So for instance, I can drag this finder window over here or back. I can drag the address book say to this window here and when I click on it there it is. So it's a quick easy way to go ahead and move between these windows. Now if I want to go ahead and turn spaces on in the first place or modify how it works I go to System Preferences and I look under Exposé and Spaces. Under the second tab here, Spaces, I can see there's an Enable Spaces button. There's the Show Spaces menu bar button. There's also an area where I can control how many rows and columns. So I can actually add more. For instance, I can add another column and have six spaces or eight. I can also assign applications to spaces. So for instance, if I always wanted the, uh, say, Safari to open up in space number three, I could do so. So there's Safari app in space number one. I can change that to three. And that's where Safari will appear when I first launch it. So if I'm in space number one and I launch Safari, it will immediately switch me to space three and bring up the Safari window. I also can change the keyboard shortcut from F8 to something else. I can also use mouse buttons for it since I have a mighty mouse. And also I can change how to switch between spaces using the command or the option key instead. Uh, and I can also go directly to a space with the number keys. So I can basically do control and one, two, three, four to switch directly to the spaces. And also I can control whether or not when I switch to an application it automatically jumps to the space where the application is in. Now one of the interesting things about spaces is that the desktop is shared between all of them. So if I go to space number one here I can see my Macintosh hard drive here. I can see the dock at the bottom. If I go ahead and use control and the right arrow to move here I can see the Macintosh hard drive is still there. If I go ahead and I move a file onto the desktop for instance I can go ahead and go into any space and see that it's there on the desktop. So the desktop is actually shared between all of them. This gives you the ability to have some files here on your desktop or even folders on your desktop, be able to see them on all of the different spaces, yet the windows are only in one space at a time. Another great thing you can do is drag and drop between spaces. So say I navigate down here to this space where I have mail open and I want to drag this email to a finder window. Well, I can just navigate using control and arrows while I'm still holding down the mouse button and dragging and drop into the space. So you can continue to drag by holding the mouse button down and can navigate between spaces at the same time. So some quick tips while using spaces. You can actually use expose and spaces together. Press F8 to go into spaces and then press F9 and it will execute expose in all of the spaces windows. You can go back and forth like that. Another thing when you're in this mode is you can rearrange spaces. So for instance, if I wanted to swap these two, I can actually drag the entire space like that. And then a cool little trick is when you're in this mode to press C and it will collate, move everything to one space like that. So if you've got a few things in different spaces, you can put them all in one space and then free up all the rest of your spaces to put new things in. 
If you don't like what the result was, just press C again immediately and you'll go back to how things were. So Spaces is extremely useful if you've got a MacBook, especially one of the ones with a smaller screen, but you want to use some pro style applications that have lots of different windows and things that will crowd it. So for instance if you're using Photoshop it usually crowds out all the other windows. You just have Spaces on and perhaps have your mail and your browser in one space and have Photoshop open in another and then perhaps have another one where you're navigating different folders in the Finder. You can also use Spaces to help you concentrate on your work. For instance, if you're writing, you can put your writing window in one space and put your chat window, your email window, Safari, everything else in another one. So while you're writing, you only see the document you're working on. That's a quick look at Spaces, what it is and how to use it. If you've got questions about Spaces or questions about anything to do with Macs or iPhones, you can always ask me. Go to macmost.com slash macanswers. That's the home for the Mac Answers podcast where I answer a new question every day. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig at MacMost Now.